Hello! In this tutorial we will learn how to create a virtual machine. I presume that configuration, user management, network settings, node configuration, storage and VM pools are set up correctly. If not, please look up the relevant tutorials. To create a virtual machine we need an ISO image of the operating system. If it's not an open source software, be aware that you need appropriate licenses. This is at your own responsibility. We can upload this ISO file into the FOSS cloud via the web interface. If you want to use the secure copy protocol SCP or WinSCP, you have to set up owner and rights correctly after the file is copied. Information about these you will find here on fos-cloud.org. When the file is uploaded, we are ready to create virtual machines. The first step is to make a profile. But why do we need a profile? The reason is, in the step before, we had only made a simple upload. That's why the file is not related with the FOSS Cloud yet. Creating a profile means we tell the FOSS Cloud information about this ISO image. For example, what type is the operating system, 32 or 64 bit, language, and so on. Additional, we tell the FOSS Cloud how much memory and disk volume capacity we need in general. Now let's create a profile. We like to set up a virtual machine with Fedora Live Desktop 64 bit. To do that, click on Create Profile. We choose the Linux default profile 64-bit. Then we select a language code. This language code has nothing to do with the keyboard settings. This is only a meta information and has no further function. The keyboard settings we will configure on the operating system in the virtual machine later. Here we see all the ISO images uploaded. We select our image uploaded just before and enter name and description. Then we can predefine how much memory and disk volume capacity we will assign to this VM in general. We can do this with the arrow keys or with the mouse. Later on, we can change these settings again. Then we have to select how much cores we need for this VM. Clock offset is always pre-selected, UTC is for Linux and local time for Windows. If we are happy with our selection, click on the Create button to create. The FOSS Cloud will now copy the ISO image to a protected area. It takes a few minutes if we do this the first time with our ISO image. If we are creating a second profile with the same ISO image, FOSS Cloud will not copy it again. If the copy process is finished, we can create our first virtual machine. We click on Create below VM template in the menu. On this screen, we choose first the profile we have created just before. In step 2, we are selecting a pool and one node. If you have a multi-node environment and nevertheless you have selected only one node in the pool, you will see here only one node. In the pool VM template 2, I have pre-selected two nodes where the VM can run. If the name of the VM is used yet, we have to change it and finally, if necessary, we have to change the pre-selected values coming from the profile. Clicking on the button below will create the template. FOSCloud has now created an empty disk. Now we can see our virtual machine on the FOSCloud. Let's go through the management of this VM. On the left side we see the plus. There we can see all information about the VM, 
Especially IP address and UUID are useful in case of support. If we have the right to edit the VM, we can click on the name or on the edit button to change the presettings. Edit a VM don't work when the VM is running. In the column Run Action, we have the buttons to manage the VM. So we can start, stop, destroy or migrate the VM. We can migrate the VM every time, nevertheless if the VM is running or not. If we don't find a second node in the windows, we had not selected it in the pool or we are working on a single node environment. The VM is migrated now to the secondary node. Memory is displayed only when the VM is running. It is showing the assigned amount of memory, what means the maximum memory the VM can use. Node is showing the physical node where the VM is running. If we have the right, we can click on it to see the node information. In the action column, we can edit or delete the VM, toggle the boot device, overtaking the VM with the monitor symbol and create persistent or dynamic VMs. Creation and management of persistent or dynamic VMs I will show you in another tutorial. The last step of creating a VM is installing the operating system. For that we have to start the VM. Then we can overtake the screen and I see that my live CD of Fedora is starting. Now we should go through the whole installation process of the operating system. But to learn how to install the operating system as Windows or Linux in a virtual machine, look after the specific tutorials. If the operating system is installed, we have to toggle the boot device. Be aware, if we are just rebooting, the system will restart the bootable CD. After toggle the boot device, we have to stop the VM and start it again. Then only this way the toggle of boot device takes place and the VM will start from the virtual disk. So that's it. If you like this tutorial click on I like and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This was Peer Stable from Force Group. Enjoy the day.